the real impetus for the team came out of the Society of, of Automotive Engineers. And Matt Craner was, was sort of the team captain. And looking back on it, they were really a really an exceptional group of guys in terms of, uh, uh, well, their, their hard work and, and uh, knowledge, et cetera. And uh, keep in mind that this was like, uh, this, was 19, this was 1990. Uh, at that time, uh, there had been the World Solar Challenge in Australia that uh, General Motors won with their Sunrace vehicle, Sunracer. And uh, they came back, and then after that race, they decided that, you know, they'd won the, the, world, the world race, and uh, by entering it again, the only chance would be to possibly lose it. <laughs> so I think they came back and they decided, well, they would sponsor with the Department of Energy, they would sponsor a university uh, competition, among, uh, competition among university teams. And so they sponsored what was called Sunrace USA. G, it was called GM Sunrace USA, General Motors Sunrace USA. But it was General Motors and Department of Energy. And it was a race from, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Epcot Center in Florida to uh, Warren, Michigan, which is the headquarters for General Motors. So it's 1,600 miles. And it was, ele- it was 1,600 miles. It was 11, 11 days. So it was about roughly 150 miles a day. Um, and, um, so they competed in that. Uh, we did, uh, fairly well. The vehicle looked like a Texas cockroach. Uh, it was sort of like a streamlined, like a cockroach, you know, sort of had a, sort of a, sort of a, sort of a nice rounded aerodynamic nose and then sort of a sweeping tail like that. A cockroach is probably a good, a good, uh, model. I think the University of Michigan, uh, car won the race and completed every leg of the race and they were the only it was the only team to complete every leg of the race so it was a it was a really interesting event it was interesting but it was a great team of guys